We have one pretty dramatic change in the Big Island real estate market data, but how's it affecting the rest of the data? We'll take a look coming up next. What's going on friends? Time for the January market update. The market data is in and there is some crazy stuff going on. The big story is how far down sales are currently. So we'll get into that in a second, but just looking at overall top line, kind of what's going on in the market. We have right now 1,987 active listings and 702 under contract, which is interesting. And we'll go come back to this, but that is actually more under contract and less active listings than there was last month. If we go back to last month and we look at December, we had 2009 active listings and 641 under contract. So the number of properties under contract actually went up and the number of available properties went down in January. But if we go across and we look at some of the other market data, um, this monthly comparison here. So this is gonna show you current activity, previous activity, and a year ago activity. And this is just for the, the residential market. So if you look at number of sales, right, where there's 135 residential sales across the island in January, there was 153 in December, and there was 222 a year ago in January. So way, way down, right? Almost a 50% drop from a year ago in the number of homes that are selling. But the median price, if you look from a year ago, is still up. It was 536 a year ago and 539 this month. If we get into the condo market, same thing, only 37 sales in the month of January. There were 69 sales a year ago, 39 sales last month. So way, way down on the number of sales in the condo market. But same thing, median price actually way up, 635 versus 500 a year ago. And final list of sold price pretty much holding steady. We were at 100% last year, but we're back down to kind of 95% range, which is pretty normal in a normal market. And then we'll look at the land sales here. Um, same thing, 107 this month, this past month, and 233 a year ago. So big drop in the number of land sales across the board. So across the board, right, we're seeing a lot fewer sales. And I will show you the graph that illustrates this. But across the board, if you look at median price, median price is still higher than it was in January a year ago. Final is sold price pretty much holding steady at around that 90%, which is the same a year ago and last month. But if we look at this chart, this kind of shows you the visual image of this is dollar volume, right? The number of um, all of the volume of sales. So we were at a height um, last year at 447 million in May of last year. And then we hit a we hit the bottom at 158 million back in December, but there was actually more volume in December um, than, than the, or more volume in January versus December. But the interesting thing about this data point is if you look at the number of raw sales, right, the number of units that had sold, this is a number that continues to decline, which is a very dramatic decline. If you look from a year uh, ago, this was back in March of last year, we had 716 sales that kept falling all the way throughout the year. And then we had about the same number of sales. There was 334 in November and then 332 in December. And then we're all the way down to 280, under 300 sales in the month of January. So January was extremely, extremely slow for number of sales. Um, but interestingly enough, there is less homes on the market this month and there are more in escrow. So did we hit the bottom? Are we kind of kind of coming out of that? Uh, one of the things that it seems like is affecting this is that home sellers, a lot of home buyers, right? Think about this. A lot of home buyers were first home sellers, right? Not all home buyers are first time home buyers. And so a lot of times they have to sell something before they buy. And so the high interest rates and the reduction in buyer interest has is definitely affecting the number of listings on the market because the people who would normally be selling to upgrade or downgrade are staying put and they're not putting their homes on the market. And so it's kind of having this interesting effect where, where inventory continues to be constrained. There's still a small, uh, low amount, very, very low amount of inventory, but sales are continuing to rise. We're seeing that we had put a house on the market last week. We had nine offers on it in the first five days. So if properties are put on the market and they're priced property, they're still selling very quickly, but there's just a lot less sales volume than there was on this previous year. And just for context, kind of 400, around 400, 450 is 
is a normal amount of sales every month across the island. So we're way, way below that at the moment, but it hasn't affected prices, hasn't affected finals list to sold price, and uh, inventory is still, still very, very low. So very interesting stuff going on in the market. If you need any specific data, I can drill this down into the district around the island. It obviously varies from district to district, whether you're on the east side, west side, north or south of the island and uh, we can get you that information. So if you have any questions, you can always email me at Dylan at buybigisland.com. If you want to do a consultation, you can book a meeting at the Cadley link below. And I always thank you guys for watching. Aloha.